Well, with land-based fishing being the most popular style of fishing right around the country, I do get people writing into me asking me one of two questions. How do I catch the fish and what lures do I use? So I wanted to take you through my most popular styles and types of lures, and you don't need a million of them. I actually pretty much just use these lures to catch all the fish that I do, and they work really well. And that's just 30 years of experience learning what works best. So let's go through a couple of these styles. Um, one of my most popular styles to date is the bent minnows. Now, they're an unusual kind of shaped lure, and you can see the shape of them there. Sort of a banana shape, and the style is really unique. Um, they literally whip through the water, and they move on angles. And you can use uh, different styles of retrieve for these. You can use the big hard flicks, and and pauses or you can just rip them through the water and they've just got this awesome style. And uh, I've nailed giant herring on these guys, uh, Trevally, you name it, they really work well. So there's your, uh, your bent minnow style of lure. So make sure you grab one of those. And another style that I use too is these guys. These are the Vibes. Now, if anyone's used Vibes, they know just how well they work. Um, I've really fallen for this style of Vibe. Um, for a couple of reasons. One, it has a little rattle inside. I'm big on the rattles. And two, it's the colour that I like using. Now, a lot of the bait fish around the Gold Coast, the, the canals and, and some of those lakes that I use them in, um, are all sort of that darkish with that olivey colour through. So that's what I've chosen. I've gone for that sort of colour. And I've worked all different colours. You can go sort of, I like the golds and, and the greens and the olives, sort of around that sort of colour style and, and, uh, and shape. And, and basically it's just throwing it in the water, it hits the bottom and just doing a lift. And you can actually feel the vibe vibrating through the water and dropping down and vibrating back up through again. And these guys, they just absolutely get nailed, flathead, trevally, they work so beautifully. Um, another one that's uh, a lot different is your surface lures. Now I've, uh, I've managed to pick up a lot of trevs on these uh, in some of those landlocked lakes. Um, basically you can just use a walk the dog sort of style, so it's basically just getting your rod and just whip, 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 and then pausing, and then whip, 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 or you can just use a, a really violent whip all the way through the water. And, uh, and, and it's more of a reaction bite. You know, a lot of fish will look up and see it whipping through the water and they'll absolutely nail these. Really good lure. Then you've got your, uh, your minnow lures. So you've got your surface and your subsurface minnows. Now these are just a really all sort of round lure that you can use and take fishing with you. Um, you know, brim go wild on these guys. And uh, if you're fishing like in, in canal areas, um, throw these out, you'll get hit by all kinds of different fish especially at sunrises and, and sunsets. So if you can just have a look at these styles here, they work really well and that's sort of like a little popper as well. So give all those guys a go. Now, of course, one of the most popular is soft plastics. Now, how many plastics do you need in your artillery? Well, it depends on where you fish, but this is really land-based kind of stuff. Um, I like the big tails on, on these guys because it's, uh, it's just a lot of action through the water and I've actually picked up land-based dewfish or mulloway, as they call them down south. Um, and what I've actually done is I've modified this guy and, and I've just put a, a treble on the bottom there. And I've cut the tail as well on this just to give it even more action. And of course, the humble flathead. Everyone loves catching a flathead. Uh, what do I use? I just use basically most soft plastics in that sort of greeny color or I'll use the bugs as well. Um, they work really well for flathead. You only need a couple of different types. If a flathead sees it, they're aggressive fish, they'll absolutely nail it. Uh, I'm sure you've got your own different style at home and we'd love to hear from you guys and let us know in the comments what your style and your favorite style of land-based lure is. Well, there you go. Hopefully that helps to uh, get you catching more fish. I'm Andy, make sure you subscribe. We'll catch you next time on Coastfish TV.